bike, hey let's go ride a bike, hey let's ride No matter how near or far, just come with your heart Ride a bike, hey let's go ride a bike, hey let's ride let's Swati Club and welcome to Phuket Extra Extra well, apart from yesterday being a huge day with the Bike for Dad event in Phuket and around Thailand, it's been a big news story week, particularly with Major General Pawin Pongsarin seeking asylum in Australia. We've had a special report on Phuket News TV about that defection and its potential impact on the Thai government. Also, it was the first week where we had a report card for Central Festival. Let's look back at the big five stories on Phuket Extra Extra. An Australian biker extradited from Cambodia over the weekend for the kidnapping and murder of former Hells Angel leader Wayne Schneider in Pattaya is facing new charges. Police have found two assault rifles, a pair of handguns, ammunition, two tasers and brass knuckle dusters at his house. Thai police allege he's the ringleader of a gang of five foreigners who killed Wayne Schneider after abducting him from a rented Pattaya home last week. Police continue to speculate over the motive for the killings, saying the dispute could have been over Mr. Schneider and Bagnato's partnership in a Sydney boxing gym. The Thai Criminal Code has extended to cover three more crimes related to child pornography. Possessing, sharing or distributing child pornography will now be illegal in Thailand. Offenders face a maximum of five years in jail for possession, seven years for forwarding on material and up to 10 years for distributing or trading in child sex abuse material. Student activists banned from visiting the controversial Ratchabat Park say they won't give up and are determined to reach the site to publicise their anti-corruption campaign before the new year. In response, the Thai PM says they would not be allowed to go there. Prayut said the activists were detained on Monday to avoid a possible clash with supporters of the Royal Park project. Meanwhile, the UK ambassador Mark Kent has put noses out of joint at the NCPO with his comments supporting peaceful protests. Many migrants working as waiters, gardeners and cleaners in Phuket's tourism sector face pay below minimum wage, discrimination and no paid leave, according to an investigation of labour abuses in the country. Swedish group Schist Rasand and Fair Action found evidence that many migrant workers from Thailand's neighbour Myanmar are being exploited in Kalak and Phuket at hotels used by three of Sweden's top tour operators. Two thirds of those surveyed say they were paid less than the 300 baht per day minimum wage. A poll asking residents about the success of the Central Festival underpass, the actual name is the Dorasamut underpass, found that despite the success, the tunnel has one major failing. 79% of respondents to the Phuket News survey say that the intersection itself is better now, but that it simply funnels traffic along to the next set of traffic lights. Net result, no improvement for the total journey. All right, that's the way we saw this week around Phuket, the top five stories, and we look forward to seeing you with a brand new Phuket Extra on Monday. The luxury of simplicity. Barn Mai Cow Phuket is a luxury low-rise beachfront condominium on Mai Cow Beach. The ideal destination for those who truly appreciate peace and serenity, along with an absolute 70-meter beach frontage. Just 15 minutes from Phuket International Airport, Barn Mai Cow is a five-star all the way. Fully furnished rooms in an ideal holiday destination start only at 55,000 Thai baht per month. If you're looking for a luxury holiday rental, contact us at 076-681-188 or reservationrfh at gmail.com.